Now it is English explanation. Marshall Scars and uh, Chancellor, they suggested uh, Rodolfo Rosendel uh, to make a formal announcement uh, fixing a day for the uh, wedding ceremony of the King and uh, Princess Flavia because the situation is very grave. So Man Johan, I mean uh, Rodolfo Rosendel calls him a greedy man and uh, to earn more money he gives more valuable information and first of all uh, he talks about the differences and the dispute and the conflict uh, between uh, Rupert and uh, Duke Michael over Lady de Maubain because he loves Lady de uh, Maubain and uh, then uh, sometimes when he uh, sees the lady he keeps on uh, uh, looking at her uh, with the devilish eyes, satanic eyes and something. And <clears throat> another news uh, which is very disturbing, very distressing for Rodolfo Zendel is uh, that the king has been very serious and he is very ill. So a physician or a doctor has been managed from uh, Sterlusso, from the capital Sterlusso and he has been called here and he is sent, he has been introduced to the king's cell and uh, for the treatment and the doctor is also threatened that uh, he would be killed if uh, d uh, uh, sorry if the king is dead so ultimately this is a pressure on the doctor uh, that he would uh, take such uh, 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 important measures uh, to cure or to keep the king alive as long as Rodolfo Zendel is killed are as long as uh, Duke Michael desires. So then uh, the doctor uh, tries to convince uh, Rodolfo Zendel that uh, there should be a nurse so for which Lady de Maubain is sent uh, to attend as an attendant of the king in the cell of the king. So another when she is in the cell of the king when she is sent there but as you know, Rupert uh, is also there. He is uh, uh, guarding the uh, king's cell. So there is a deeper depression. I mean, a very uh, more distressing thing, more problematic thing for uh, uh, Duke Michael. It is that that when he sees the lady, he keeps on singing song, laughing, uh, 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 giving a very devilish laugh. And these are some type of gestures and uh, some type of you can say flirts that he makes uh, as soon as so Duke Michael has set Datcher to guard the king instead of Rupert so uh, when especially when uh, Madame de Maubain is in the set, cell so, so Johan uh, after having uh, shared all these news uh, so he is given uh, crowns, uh, the currency of Ruritania. Then he further, I mean, Johan further uh, leaks some information or he gives more information. He says that the, during daytime, uh, because in chapter number 14, Kraufstein and Logram were killed. Uh, you know, uh, uh, they were killed when Max Hoff was also killed on the boat. So out of six, only four left. So Johan said that Datchard and Persinant, they are guarding the king's cell during night time. And Rupert Afonso and D. Gordet, they both are, uh, they are on the day duty. So this is what is said by Johan. And Johan further says that the, uh, all these four men who are in the old castle, uh, the main entrance key is with all of them. It means all have the keys. And then he says that the right, uh, you know, on the other side in the new castle, uh, there are, uh, there is one big hall and left side, uh, there is a cell or there is a chamber or there is a room uh, where Lady de Maubain lives. And on the right side of the hall of the entrance, uh, there is the chamber of uh, Duke Michael. I mean, he lives over there. 
so this is the uh, very important information and he also says that the drop bridge uh, is uh, set or it is open and uh, it is closed it is opened and closed uh, during night time not day time and uh, duke michael has the key of uh, draw bridge only he has the key he also says that in the entrance hall uh, in between the chambers of lady de mobain and the chambers of uh, duke michael uh, in the center of it uh, there is a hall and in which five servants of duke michael they at night they sleep over there but they are having pikes i am going to show you the picture of pikes and they have pikes and uh, they have no firearms no pistols no rifles something like to shoot then uh, redol rizal gives him 20000 crowns uh, of this uh, news information but he promises him 50000 more crowns if johan does what he tells him then he said that he is going to give him 50000 crowns so what is that the condition is that at 2 o'clock in the in, uh, you know upcoming night he is going to open the front door of the chateau of the hall so when he will open the front door of the hall kanasap is will be there another important thing is he gives a note for lady de mobain and this note is written in french language and it is said that how she would be acting on that night uh, so that uh, michael could be trapped and uh, rupert of hunzo uh, could also be uh, controlled redoubt general also makes it very clear that in case if king is not alive if king is killed so it is important that he would tell the truth to the public of ruritania and then he draws a plan so let's see what line of action or what strategy does he take to rescue the king uh, that night so here is the plan i had made what is the plan so remember the plan he says a strong party maybe under uh, uh, six men of uh, those chosen trusted men uh, they would be uh, under the command of uh, colonel saps they would be there when johan at 2 o'clock at night or uh, in the morning when he will open the door of the chateau so colonel sap along with his men would enter and he would secure the servant i mean he would be able to control them and there was a note which was written in french language to the lady and it was sent by the hand of uh, johan in the note it was said that after 2 o'clock as soon as colonel sap and his men would have taken the control of the five servants then in the meanwhile lady de mobain is going to make a shrill or she is going to shout loudly and she would say help help michael help uh, acting as if rupert of hunzo is molesting her or uh, rupert of hunzo has entered into her chamber and uh, and and is trying to attack her it is uh, expected that the michael in fury or in anger he would rush from his apartment and uh, when he will pass from the uh, great hall of the uh, entrance hall so colonel sapt who would be ready there he would catch him catch him alive and by this way uh, there is going to be the uh, you know half uh, control of uh, um, Uh, of uh, prisoner of zenda then uh, these are some uh, further presumptions that rupert uh, set his foot on the drawbridge i mean this is a question that comes in his mind what happens uh, during this uh, uh, you know commotion or during this uh, nice uh, there may be rupert afonso who would be crossing the bridge and uh, who would come 
so what would happen how he would be how rupert de got it datchered and others would be controlled so the daughter then said that he would also be in the moat in the water in the deep water and with a ladder with a wooden ladder in his hand and there would be a pipe so that with the help of it and with the some pistol uh, and he would uh, uh, climb on the bridge and he would be able to counter them he would be able to attack them and uh, uh, he said that it would be unfortunate for him if they uh, were spared this is the uh, planning and uh, this is the line of action which has been drawn so rudolf dendel uh, i mean he is watching that uh, rupert of hunzo watched and uh, uh, not only rupert of hunzo but also datcher and about datcher uh, he said that he was a very cool man and he was relentless i mean merciless very unkind and very cruel and uh, no coward he is a very brave man and he had neither the dash nor the recklessness of rupert i mean so these are some of the characteristics of uh, datcher datcher as indicated in this uh, novel he is the second most dangerous man out of six so he said that it might be i mean there is a possibility that uh, bursnan might live to guard the king and uh, rush across the bridge to take part in the fray on the other side so somehow they would be taken into control redaro general also gives instruction to marshal that in case if they didn't come in the morning after the successful rescue operation then marshal should take princess flavia or must take princess flavia to stir the soup and must proclaim or make the announcement that a duke michael's treachery i mean make the announcement that duke michael has made a treachery and uh, probably the king has uh, died now the scene changes uh, in uh, in this paragraph the scene changes now it was late and uh, there was uh, a conference or talk between uh, uh, princess flavia and her daughter dendel and she said that she shows uh, uh, it was the king's ring and on the ring what was prescribed or what was written on the king ring these were the words written on the ring of princess so her daughter dendel says that wear the, that ring even though you wear another when you are queen i mean there is no possibility whether the real king would be rescued or not or whether he would live or not whether michael would live or not so who so ever would be uh, spared he would marry princess flavia and it may be the third man i mean it may be uh, duke michael who might uh, marry her in case if he was alive or if if he was spared alive this is the end of chapter number 16